Hi all, this is a smart solder in Iron TS101 and it's a new version of the previous which was TS100. It is a portable one and a very small one. Let's see what's in the box. So manuals and the soldering iron itself. A tip that came with it. A tip protector. And probably cables. One cable, I guess. Yeah. Type C. Type C cable to Type C. Both sides are Type C. And how it goes? The previous version, by the way, this is the previous one, TS100, and this is the new one. It came also with this tip holder. This tip holder goes something like this. It's not the best, but better than nothing, I guess. You put it like this and let's go and see what is going here. So they are written uh, DC 9 to 24 volts, maximum 65 watts. But if you're reading the data sheet, they are telling that it can get to 90 watts if you press and hold the power button. So it's like a boost higher than uh, what is written here and very simple you just plug the tip like this and this is the the protector how it goes maybe something I don't know how they mean to put it not very understood to me Huh. Interesting, this kind of tip protector. Uh, I don't know if I will use it and I don't know really how to use it. I don't see. Uh, maybe I'm putting it in the wrong way. So it should be maybe like this. No, like this, it will not fit in. So the only way to plug it is like this. So probably this is what it is. <laughs> ah, protector, this kind of protector. I, I really don't understand what is the benefit of this one. <clears throat> maybe, just a second, maybe it should be before I'm putting, yeah, yeah. It looks better like this, I guess. So you need first to put this protector and then to put and what is the benefit of it? Eh, I'm not sure. Maybe to remove, remove the tip and yeah. Yeah, it is taking the tip outside easily just by uh, putting your fingers on the plastic here. So you will not burn your finger or your hand. Maybe this is the, the reason for it. So now I will try to connect it to a uh, type C. This is an uh, Apple charger because I want to see if it will go up to maximum 20 volts. I think this is how it should be. This is the cable that came with it. So we'll plug it and see what happens. So V2 heating and settings so low volt so it, it is not even reaching so it doesn't really recognize this type C or it doesn't huh but I think that it will work let's see 
Okay. And how do I start it? Yeah. Aha, this is all the all the settings. A lot of settings. And then it is not hitting. This is by the way the temp calibration. So if it doesn't get the required voltage, so it doesn't even start. This is interesting. So you have two kinds of connector. One is the type C and the other one is D type. Plug like the old one. And this way it looks like, yeah. Interesting that it will not start to hit. Okay, so Houston, we have a problem. By the way, uh, maybe I have another, another, uh, I have a type C, a type C power supply from laptop. And let's try to plug the power supply and see how it goes with the type C power supply. Okay, so I have here a Lenovo, Lenovo 65 watt. Probably this is a uh, 20 volts, yeah. So I guess I can connect it directly. And we will use now the Lenovo one. So yeah, so it's power up, heating, settings, yeah. And now it starts immediately. And it is using 20 volts and yeah. It is working with the correct power supply. So let's see about soldering. So it is now on uh, 300 degrees Celsius and very easy and quite, aha, uh -huh. but it is writing no tip from time to time. Maybe because I didn't plug it full way in. Yeah, now it is full way in. You see, and I have here an error. No way. So, but now it is hitting again. You can see 300 Celsius degrees. Yeah, and it is working. Pretty nice, I have to admit. And I can change the work temperature. Now it is 350 and then I see that I press both sides and it is set to the new temperature. And it is now running on 20 volts. So probably I am at the 65 watt, I guess. Yeah. So you can change the work temperature and change settings. And you have a few different settings for, so you can put on the memory, you have memory to different temperature. This is also nice thing so overall it looks like it is working pretty good i have no uh, soldering pcb now to demonstrate but i'm familiar and i know that this type of of solder by the way the 
company is Miniware. It's uh, it's working pretty well, and this is uh, basically it's portable because if you're using a power bank that support the Type C and will give you the QC, it will recognize automatically that it need to adjust to 20 volt and you will be able to work with USB type C QC3 probably power supply or any power bank that can support it or you can use the other type of cable yeah and uh, th this solder there is a lot of other feature standby and if you're not using it for quite a time and it doesn't feel that it is changing temperature so it will go to standby mode and then one press uh, uh, you see this is the power the boost that i talked the 90 watts if you have the arrow blinking arrow so it is the very high temperature and and it will boost to very high temperature. This is what I remember from the data sheet. And, and you have many kind of, of tips for it. By the way, I got with it another very tiny tip, TS uh, ILS which I thought to use to very delicate sinks when I don't want to use my Hako a big weather so it will replace it in the most delicate sink and that's all hope you enjoy thank you and bye